an individual animal, they ran two different... To identify the forces that trigger stem cells to become neurons, in 1999, Maclis and his colleagues launched an ambitious experiment. They targeted the most recently evolved part of the brain, the cerebral cortex. In tests with mice, they injected a chemical, killing thousands of neurons. But within weeks, the decimated neural circuits received some unexpected reinforcements, a stream of stem cells. They moved to exactly the right location. They turned into the right kind of neurons. And most strikingly, some of them could send long connections to the correct targets. In other words, they rebuilt circuitry in the brain. For the first time, scientists had shown that a living brain might be able to repair itself with new neurons. But it may take decades before scientists know if neuron replacement will ever be effective in people. Lots more work to get there, lots of work in the laboratory, in animal models. But what these experiments clearly tell us is that there exists some sequence and some combination of molecular signals that can induce the birth of new nerve cells. And by finding out what these molecules are in mice, we might be able to find out what the proper molecules are for humans. The same mysterious forces that propel stem cells to build the baby's brain may one day be harnessed to mend the aging brain. I am extremely hopeful and would want to be the first human following the last rat or mice, whatever it is. We have such incredible abilities as human be beings that I believe in miracles, and I have no intention of quitting before the miracle happens. I'll wait till you finish and then I'll ask you, okay? While Parkinson's disease cripples the body, the most widespread disease of the aging brain is one that cripples the mind. These men and women in a California day center can still express themselves with pictures. But the parts of their brains that put thoughts into words are slowly dying they have Alzheimer's disease. Alvin Johnson was running an insurance company when he began having problems with his memory eight years ago. He can no longer sign his name. He doesn't know the date, the day, the time. One weekend, our daughter was here, and he walked into the kitchen, and he said, who are you? Alzheimer's disease is almost a uniquely human disorder because the areas of the brain most recently developed through evolution that are important for thinking and memory and reasoning are the most vulnerable. It's a tragic illness. It robs an individual, ultimately, of his own qualities that make him human. That one's no use. You can set it down if you want, Kate. Don't have to hold it. That's great. Chuck Hyatt, a retired aircraft engineer, was always good at fixing things. At least I get some rest tomorrow. But two years ago, when he was 67, his wife and daughter began noticing a change. Sitting around not doing anything. He was having trouble coordinating details or remembering what he'd done. The Hyatts want to know if Chuck's continuing difficulties are just a normal part of aging, or the early signs of Alzheimer's disease. Unfortunately, the only conclusive proof of Alzheimer's comes after death, from analysis of brain tissue. You know, it'd be great if we had a test that would tell us whether somebody has Alzheimer's disease. Take an image of the brain, or 
take a blood test or even if we had a reliable test of the spinal fluid, something to tell us absolutely certain you have it or you don't. We don't have that test. So the way we make the diagnosis is based upon information from the examination of the patient and information from the family about how the person has changed. I'm here to talk about your husband. Uh, tell me what you've noticed about his memory. Well, I guess to start with, um, he just can't remember short-term things. Um, a lot of repetition is required in telling him something. Does he depend more on you for help? He depends on me for help. And that's a change from before? Yes. Mm -hmm. Big Who's, change. Big change. I mean, he was an engineer. He was a problem solver. And um, that just is not what it was. Wait a minute now. Okay, honey. Hmm? Want to use this? It cuts real well. Yeah, you hold it up. How's that? Now we got stuck again. It might be difficult to convince a casual observer that he has lost memory and thinking ability without the background from his wife. Certainly his family is concerned about his decline. Tell me about your memory. Any problems with memory? Uh, definitely. I end up uh, forgetting things. I'll. Uh, not, Dottie will say something to me, and half hour later or something, I can't remember what she said. Are these important things, or? Uh, sometimes they may be, but almost time it's not, just conversation. She was telling me something that I guess I'd like to hear a little bit more about it from you, about the Rams. You're a football fan, I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You enjoy the games? Oh, yes. Well, what's the last game that you've attended? Uh, Rams versus 49ers. 49ers. And yes, they won 41 to, no, 21 to, no, was it 41 to 20 or something like that. But I'm not sure of that. I think that's what it was. 40, okay. Or maybe 20-something, 41 and, to 20. Now, who's the, uh, the coach of the Rams? Now, that I don't know. Uh, I'll think of it maybe right now. Well, if it yeah. comes to you, you let, let me know yeah. a little bit later. Yeah. Sir, I want to ask you some questions, just to test different things about memory and so forth. Some of these questions may be easy, some may be a little more difficult. Tell, tell me what year it is now. Mm. I say 1996, I don't know. 96, what yeah. month is it? Uh, and you can guess, you can guess. April. April. Subtract 3 from 20, and then keep subtracting 3 from each new number all the way down. 20, 17, uh, 14, uh, 11, 8, si uh, 7, no, 5, 2. Did very well. I didn't think too well. You took a little while to get there, but you got there. Most people, when you say Alzheimer's disease, get a mental image of an incapacitated patient, almost or perhaps ready for the nursing home. But people don't overnight change from healthy, functioning, older adult to a nursing home patient. There's a gradual change. 